Hi, Libra. It's here with a weekly reading for the sign of Libra. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you. Um, I'm happy to be here as well. This could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or whoever is interested in Libra uh, or curious about Libra. Let's go ahead and look now for the week ahead. For the week ahead, Libra. Let's look at the week ahead now. Um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn. So if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box uh, uh, um, to get to the store. All right, moving to the second row. Moving to the second row now. Okay, let's see what's here. Let's see what's here, Libra. Starting off with the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords coming in, um, kind of in a transitional place. And then we have the Nine Nine of Cups here. And we have the Devil Energy here. Hmm. All right, let's see what's coming out next. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. And we have the Fool energy. We have the Page of Wands. And the Death, where we have Eight of Pentacles with Death over the top. Okay, let me get these cards straight here. Well, Libra, I would say for the first half of the week, you're in the Page of Wands energy. There is something here that really has you excited. I think you are feeling better than you have normally felt or that you felt in a long time. Um, you are excited about something, and I think that feels good. I, I just feel like it's, it feels good, and, and um, I, I, it's connecting in with the Eight of Wands. I think that there is something here that's exciting to do. Um, it could be a really nice distraction from you know, complications of the past um, that we see kind of showing up here. We have the Ace of Swords that you're in as you're entering the week. So there's some sort of communication that's going, uh, I would say, back and forth, some sort of communications that are going back and forth here. Uh, Queen of Swords is on our side. Libra, that's you. I think that you're being careful um, about the situation, kind of careful about what you say, knowing that there's like a little bit of tenderness here that you're kind of paying attention to. Um, I think, Libra, you could have been in a position where you might not have been able to talk about this before. It could have been a surprise or something that you were kind of keeping under wraps. Um, you are realizing that this is something that's coming without, like, um, it's, it's coming to you in a very individual way. It's coming to you um, in a way that is potentially without like a foundation it's without any kind of uh, i have to go into the four of wands in in reverse here four of wands in reverse four of wands in reverse lover's energy Seven of Wands. It's something that you're doing that you're you're basically doing it um, for yourself. I think Libra for yourself. It, it's not really because you need confidence in a relationship. It's not to add any kind of you know. It, it's something that's a very individual exper experience. And even though some of you might have people that you're in relationships with. Uh, you're, you're kind of doing this no matter what happens, no matter what the other person says. This is something that is really important to you as an individual. And it could be a little destabilizing. It could be a little destabilizing in if you have like an agreement 
or an engagement or a marriage year with the Four of Wands. Uh, it could be a little bit... Well, I don't know. I, I just feel like if there is a partner here, I think the partner is okay with this. You might be just doing this by yourself without any... It, it, this this could just be by yourself, something that you're doing by yourself. Something very much for yourself, but you are communicating about it. You are talking about it and you're being quite gentle. I would say you're being very gentle, very soft about it. But ultimately there is a situation here um, that is in the picture, but it, it's in, it's in the reverse position. This could be something that you're doing to help bring your home into a more steady place or into a more relaxed or tr relaxed or trusting place. You're talking about this, communicating about this to help avoid a situation, to help avoid um, some sort of situation but you are going forward with it you are going forward with it you may no longer really care too much this is something that's for you to enjoy as an individual i don't think there's anything wrong with what you're doing um, but when the lover's energy is here sometimes there is like this possessive quality between the two people uh, and we do have the devil energy here too. So there could be, and the lovers and the devil are very similar. They can be very similar. Uh, I think you're just kind of doing this because it's important to you. And it's, um, it's something that you really believe in, but you are being quite soft about it and, and very well-spoken, uh, a decision that you've made here, a decision that you've made. Um, as you move through the last half of the month or last half of the week, we have the eight of pentacles here with the death energy over the top. Uh, so whatever you're working on, Libra, whatever you're working on, I think that you are taking a little bit of a break from it. Something that you're doing that you're um, kind of relaxing, you're taking a break that you could be taking a break in some sort of a friendship or some sort of a relationship. You were working on it, but you're kind of taking a break. There's something new that you're doing, something that gives you a lot of happiness. Something that gives you a lot of happiness here, a lot of uh, it, uh, a beautiful experience for, for a single person or for an individual. The Nine of Cups is like individual enjoyment, pleasantry in life, fulfillment, a wish coming true. And there's something new that you're doing, something new. Uh, it's There's a lot of intensity here. I don't know what's going on, Libra. I just feel like you're doing this for your own enjoyment. You're doing this because... Uh, you deserve it. There's something here that's very deserving of it. It is so exciting for you and it's passionate and that you feel good after, I, you know, there, there must have been something very difficult happening or there's something that's kind of difficult happening that's destabilized within your home or destabilized within your workplace. Um, and you could have worked on it a long time and you might be saying, you know, to heck with it. For right now, I'm going to let loose of it. I'm going to go and do this new experience or something new that you haven't done before. It could just be, you know, something that you're doing with friends if for, you know, maybe for a day or uh, maybe you're going somewhere on the weekend, something that you're doing. It's, it's new and it's quick and you might not have a lot of resources for it. You might not have done it before, but it is in many ways like a wish come true for you. And, and, um, you're saying to heck, to heck with this hard work, to heck with staying in my, you know, staying in my lane and focusing on this thing that um, I thought was so, you know, opportunist, you know, so such an opportunity for me. I'm going to go ahead and um, do something new here. That's it's quite an enjoyment for me. You might have a little bit of disagreement about this, or you might sense that there could be some disagreement about this as you do it. But I think you're still moving ahead because you know it's important to you. Um, as you're ending. As you're ending the week, you're moving into the devil position. So there is something here that's um, quite seductive or something here that has potential to continue forward. Let's go into the devil position here really quick. Ten of Pentacles. Dang. <sighs> no wonder. Ten of Pentacles. Something that has some real long-term potential. There could be a long-term relationship here that's 
being impacted by this or potential for a new long-term relationship or something here financial that has financial possibility or that connects you in with a legacy, connects you in with uh, a certain dollar amount or, or even into like a corporation that you're connecting into. Um, I do feel like there is success around this. There is money around this. Um, there is a, there's something here that's quite attractive and it has, um, it has a seductive quality for you. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. In a way, you could be just saying, like, it's time for me to um, stop fighting this. It's time for me to stop arguing. It's time for me to stop um, going through a situation that requires me to surrender. I don't know what's going on with this Four of Wands. But, you know, the sur surrendering, surrendering into something and... And um, whether it's even the act of crying, the act of crying is like a surrender into it. You don't want to cry. You never want to, right? Um, but you, when you do, you go through it, um, go through something that after a period of time, after a period of, of pain, or after a period of really trying, really trying to be strong, really trying to hold out, really trying to keep level headed and cool, you just start crying and you don't want to, but you do. And it's like it allows a release. That's how it feels here. There's something here that has been quite difficult, Libra, I have to say. And this regenerative energy that you have here, this coming back to yourself with the Queen of Swords is something that's very important to you. And I can see why you're in this situation. I can see why you're wanting to do this because you've been through something that's been quite difficult, Libra, I have to say. And it comes with some anger and it comes with some frustration and even some confusion. Um, I don't want to go down too deep into this because those of you that are connecting to the Ten of Swords totally understand why. And when it's so fresh like that, it's not fun to go into that kind of energy, but I do feel it. I feel that it's here. Um, so there is something that's quite nice here for you and it feels good. And it's probably what your soul is really asking for. Um, that's why you're willing to let go of this, uh, this concern that you have about this relationship. Five of, five of wands, conflict, four of cups. You don't, you don't like the conflict. You don't like this continual back and forth, um, where there's continual, suffering basically continual suffering with the four of cups and five of wands like uh you could be saying here yeah look how i just knocked that off the table you could be saying here you know what i don't think it's worth it or right now i don't really give a damn i don't really give a damn i'm gonna do this and um let's see what happens let's see what happens that's a devil energy just going right into it saying to heck with it um I'm going to do this because it's important for me to feel this intensity. It's important for me to step into a, a new possibility. Um, and I'm willing to take the risk. That's how it feels this week, Libra. So I'm not sure what's going on with you guys, but I think it's a rather intense, exciting week, but it does come with some, you know, it comes with some hardness. I, I think the, the hardship has really been before has really been before, but I, I do think it comes with, with a, um, a kind of, you know, if this is not easy, it's not easy. The death energy is not easy. It's not easy to walk away from something or allow for something to organically happen uh, with the death energy. You might have fought for this, pushed for this, worked for this. Eight of Pentacles is a very hardworking energy. This could be a love situation. This could be at something at work. This could be something that is happening within the home. It can, it could really. Um, be important for so many, in so many ways. Nine of cups, seven of cups. You've thought about this for a while and you weren't sure like how to exactly do this. Um, it's the wheel of fortune coming out. So this is a new, this is a new turn. This is a new step for you, Libra. And I think that it's about time um, it, whatever it happens here, it could be propelling you forward into change. Um, it could be propelling you forward into change. I feel like when you're talking about it here with the queen of swords, I feel like 
there's more to the story than what you're saying. I think that's okay too. I think that's okay. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands energy. World, something new, something new, some enhancement, some ending, ending and a new beginning possibly here, happening here. And um, you could very well know that. You could very well know that. You could be traveling. There could be some traveling that you're doing, conversations that you're having. Page of Wands. Let's look at the Page of Wands. Uh, there could be like the, a start of a new relationship here. The King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords flipped over. Page of Wands. Two of Cups. Some new relationship or partnership is on the table here. Out with the old, in with the new. I mean, gosh, could be something like that. If that's the case, I think this is a long time coming. Could be a long time coming. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be just letting go of one project or letting go of a contract. You could be letting go of a contract that you've had. Moving forward and doing something new and saying, heck with it. I've tried long enough. I've tried hard enough. So there is a new partnership here. There's a heart-to-heart -heart connection here, Libra. <laughs> uh, and I think it's exciting. I really do think it's exciting. So you have a, on the top layer is ex excitement, something quite delicious for you, very beautiful flavor, um, the bursting in your mouth. And then the undercurrents is sort of a pain, uh, a pain undercurrent that comes along with this. But I think you're okay with that. That pain undercurrent has been there for a while. And um, whatever's happening here, as far as the result, that's what's happening. I, I mean... That's how it feels when I get into this energy. All right. Thank you very much, Libra. It's a pleasure to read for you.